Hi, my name is Lisa Lee, and I'm the owner of GodGenealogy.com. I'm a computer expert and a professional genealogist, and I have the unique ability of taking really difficult topics and making them stupid simple to understand. Really. My videos, I keep them short and sweet, hmm, two to three minutes at the most, because your time is valuable to me. We only cover one topic at a time, but we cover it in such a way that you can immediately master it, go online, find your ancestors, and make some amazing breakthroughs. I guarantee. Stick with me. We're going to learn a lot, and it's going to be some fun. So without further ado, let's get started. Got genealogy, using the tools of the future to discover your past. And now it's time for another great video from GotGenealogy.com. Consanguinity, or how two people are related to one another. This is a topic that confounds even the most experienced genealogists, and with good reason. This is your typical consanguinity chart. You get a bunch of boxes. You're supposed to start somewhere and end up somewhere else. And depending upon where you end up, that's supposed to tell you how two people are related to one another. The problem with this is, I never know where to begin, I don't know where to end, and it's impossible for me to understand, much less explain it to someone else. So I came up with another model. I call this my consanguinity loops model. We start with the original parents, Mr. and Mrs. Parent. They have children who are siblings to one another. When the siblings have children, they're the grandchildren to the original couple, and unless the grandchildren are siblings, they're first cousins to each other. When the first cousins have children, they are the great-grandchildren of the original couple, and unless those great-grandkids are siblings, they are now second cousins to one another. When the second cousins have kids, they are the great-great-grandchildren, and on and on. Now let's put this to real life so you can see how this works, how easy it is to understand. Jason and Molly. We know that Jason's a grandchild of the original couple, and Molly is the great-great-grandchild. So how are Jason and Molly related to one another? Well, this is really simple. The first thing you do is determine the person most closely related to the common ancestor. We know that's Jason because he's a grandchild. Now we have to note on which level he belongs, and as a grandchild, he belongs on the first cousin's level. Next, you just count how many levels separate the two people. One, two, and voila! Jason and Molly are first cousins twice removed. It's that simple, really. Well, I hope the consanguinity loops model will help make it more easy for you to understand and so you can deal with your annoying cousin Virginia who insists that your first cousin's child is your second cousin. Well, good luck with that. If you enjoyed this video, and we hope you did, please share it with your friends, and you, should, you can also like us on Facebook, gotgenealogy.com using the tools of the future to discover your past.